Just a few days ago, we celebrated the solemnity of the Annunciation, marking the beginning of the Incarnation. And at Mass that day, the first reading was from the prophet Isaiah, prophesying that the Virgin is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. This is good news, and it is so, be so good that we celebrate it in the great feast of Christmas when we focus on the divine Christ child being born in the poverty and humility of Bethlehem. But what is the purpose of that celebration? What is the purpose of that birth? Why do we make such a fuss about it? We do so because we recognize that the arrival of God in the flesh is a new phase in the way in which God draws near to us. Emmanuel, God is with us. This event, God becoming one of us, is so astounding that St. Paul extols it in the second reading. His state was divine. Yet Christ Jesus did not cling to his equality with God, but emptying, emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. God in Christ Jesus came to reconcile the world to the Father. And that he accomplishes supremely by the passion, death and resurrection, which is the focus of the church's whole attention for the week ahead, Holy Week. Today, Palm Sunday, marks the beginning of that Holy Week. And the Word of God puts before us, firstly, Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem, and then his being ushered out of the city in what might look like defeat. On Palm Sunday, the crowd want to crown Jesus the King. By Good Friday, their cry is, Crucify him. On Palm Sunday, they think he has arrived to claim a crown and a throne, and that is precisely what he is aiming to do. But the crown will not be of gold and precious jewels, and the throne will not be a luxurious seat of earthly power. His crown will be thorns bejeweled by beads of his precious blood. His throne will be a high cross upon which he will find no comfort or ease, but which will be the true seat of his immense sovereign divine power. Emmanuel, God is with us is the great cry of Christmas. But it is also true in times that are less joyful, less consoling, less uplifting. We are invited to look at Christ this week through the eyes of faith and recognize that in his experience of this week, we will find a place where our own trials, troubles and sufferings will fit. Have you had people turn against you for no good reason? Emmanuel, the Lord who experienced the rejection of his people who turned so ferociously against him, he is with you. Have you been misunderstood? The Lord who was accused of being a blasphemer being a madman and acting under the influence of the evil spirit Beelzebul, he is with you. Have you been filled with anxiety, desolation or fear, being left to carry that burden all alone with no one to come to your aid? The Lord who spoke in the Garden of Gethsemane the words, My soul is sorrowful even unto death, and who found his friends asleep in his hour of greatest need. He is with you. 
Have you been betrayed by a loved one, close relative or trusted friend? The Lord who was betrayed by the malice of his friend Judas is with you. Have you been abandoned by those you love? Have they deserted you when your circumstances became too difficult or uncomfortable for them? The Lord, whose closest friends ran away from him in his troubles and whose best friend disowned him three times, he is with you. Have you been mistreated, beaten, abused, bullied, mocked, cursed and exposed to the ridicule of others? The Lord Jesus, who suffered all manner of physical and psychological torture and torments, is with you. Have you been falsely accused and condemned of wrongdoing? Jesus, standing before the unjust judge Pilate and the crowd demanding his death, he is with you. Have you been stripped of your dignity are forced to suffer because of the wrongdoing of another. The Lord taking the cross upon his shoulders for us and standing stripped of his garments before the eyes of the crowd is with you. Are you undergoing great physical and spiritual sufferings, being weighed down by physical pain or spiritual darkness in your soul? Emmanuel, the Lord agonizing on the cross and calling out, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. He is with you. All of us are undergoing some trial or other in our lives. And if not right now, we know that great difficulties can come upon us at any moment. I invite you this Holy Week to find your place in Christ's experience of Holy Week and to set your experience next to his, your suffering next to his. And perhaps as you gaze upon the crucifix with all the faith that you can muster, call out to him and say, Lord, in all these woes, in all my suffering, in all that seems to be going wrong in my life, I trust in you and your power to use all things for my good. Because I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are Emmanuel, God with us. You never abandon us. You are with me, Lord Jesus, every step of the way, especially when it's tough going on that way. Help me, Jesus, to remain always with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. And that is good news indeed.